Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, in a first video of my new series, React Native TypeScript, we learn how we can display such kind of hello world type of information just by modifying the app.tsx file. You see? Just we modify this and we display the hello world type of message. Now in this video we are going to learn how we can use view, text and style in React Native with TypeScript that we are going to learn in this video. For that I am just removing these component because these component is an extra component like session that is I am using here. So for the being I am removing this from here so I will use here new component that I am going to create for understanding the view all will remain same and we I doesn't need this also but I will remove it later on when I am I do not require this but here I do not require session so I am just removing this and I will use my component that I am creating for that I have a one directory here YouTube under this I will create views views.tsx remember tsx is a new component that i am going to create here in this component i am just creating the component and i say this component is here and i just save this now you see that here we have a style so here i will use a style and here we have the view and text so all these three i am going to use in typescript in react native so here i just decide to type style also i say style equal to i say styles dot container i will give the name to the container this then i create the text here and i say heading just to show you that text we can use like this then then i take one more text here and here i say dummy text i say lorem so here I will take the dummy text just by lorem this dummy text and I can click right click and I can do format here so automatically it will be formatted like this or we can press the shift alt and f for formatting the content and automatically we can also format by using pre-tires but sometimes pre-tires not comfortable with tsx that's why I'm using this so I am doing this container here for this text I say style here in this style I say I have styles dot heading that is for heading then I say here also style equal to we say styles dot text so like that way I am using view view just replacement of div tag you imagine that in HTML we have a div tag so here we can use view here this view convert automatically as per the android if you are using android so this view convert according to the android layout and if you are using ios then it will convert according to ios layout and if you are using on web it will normally convert into div tag so that is the way of converting the react into the native applications so we are using here styles three styles i am using container heading and text so for that here is a style sheet we have the style sheet here object and we have a function here under this create here i'm using the container so i say container here this container is an object which i am passed i'm passing here already container now i give here flex i say flex it to one and i say justify content equal to center and I say alignment of item should be center like this. I am just doing some modification here. Then you see that uh, I need to insert this here. So here I am importing this view and this view, this view I am importing from the YouTube folder and I save this. So as I save it will refresh and you will see the changes here. You see we have a heading and we have this text here. Now we do some modification. Now I say some formatting for heading. So I say heading and in this heading I say font 
size font size is 30 i say font weight font weight is bold save this and you see that heading is now in a bold format now we say here text text is the third one and here i say uh, font size so i say font size is 20 then i say here margin because i want to give margin from all the sides so i say 10 is the margin save this and you see that we have this formatting here now i can say that text alignment text alignment we need to pass justify justify this you see we have justify here like this way and uh, we done this we have flex we have justify content we have alignment and you see that we have here also some property we have margin padding horizontal font size these we have already here for setting this under this we am using this so if i remove this that is also justify because already we have set but we can put here over setting so you can see that we have used view we have used text then we use styles so with the help of a style sheet we provide some css here and we pass dummy text also you see that we have a text here and right this way we can use we have an object as a key and we have a value here heading we have an object we have this key value pair here we text as a key and object and we have a value here so all separately we can assign with the help of this and these all setting is just like a css in css we have the gap here like that but here we have the camel notation in react native so like that way you can use view text and style in your react native application i think you learned something from this video if you learn please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.